Okay, this video is going to go over a complete upgrade. And this is a, a real good blog to do it on. This happens to be my daughter's blog. I gave it to her for Christmas. So this is a 2.0.10. Now the current version is 2.2.2. Okay, so first thing I would do is first download the new version of WordPress, which I've already now I need to save some things so that I don't lose her blog. If I lose my daughter's blog, she's liable to get very upset. With okay, you may or may not have PHP My Admin in your cPanel. Some do, some don't. If you don't, if you open up MySQL databases and go down to the bottom, there's always a link to PHP My Admin. And you're going to open up PHP My Admin. And what we're going to do is we're going to download a copy of the database. Okay, if there was more than one database, I would have to choose the database first. But as there's only one on this, I can just take it here to export the database. It's going to bring up a screen. Looks like this. I want to bring it down in SQL format. I do want to add drop tape. And in this case, I'm going to pull it down in a zip version. And I'm going to just press and I'm going to save it. And in this case, I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm actually going to create a special folder just for this because I'm going to need to save a few things. So I'm going to just put Liz as that folder. OK, so I'll pull it down into Liz. In the meantime, while this downloads and that could take a minute, depends on the size of your blog. I'm going to go over to the FTP. Now, I've already logged into this blog. Again, I'm going to go up to my desktop. Okay, look for the folder I just created. Uh, looks like. There it is. I had to refresh to get it. You see, I already have the SQL zip down. I want to come in and there's a couple things that I want to have. I want to grab the WP config file out of here. Because if there's a problem, that has the information on the databases and stuff in it. Once I have that over here, I'm going to come in and open up the WP content folder. And I want to open up the plugins. And actually, the easiest thing really to do is to just pull the whole WP content folder. And just pull this into this file again. The reason I'm doing this is this has the plugins it already has the themes and any changes i've made in the themes to make the plugins work so if i have a problem i have everything that we've already done so that i don't lose anything uh, that's the whole point here is of pulling the database and the other i right, 99 times out of 100 you're not going to need this uh, but that one time that you do, you'll be glad that you, that you took the time. So in this case, we're just going to pull this whole file over. So we have the config file out of the main, and we're going to pull the WP content file. Okay, we've pulled the WP content file. So now I have, I have the SQL zip file, I have the config file, and I have the WP content file. So now I can upload the new information. One of the things they do recommend that you, uh, and I probably should on this simply because I know that it's a huge version change. Let me log into her blog real quick. Is that I should turn plugins. That was the one step that I almost forgot here. And it's actually a good thing that I did because, see, this is an older blog. The new version of WordPress has sidebar widgets built into it. If I didn't turn this off, I would have a problem. And actually looking at this, there's probably some things that I should change on this while I'm here as I do this. But I've turned these off now. So now all I need to do is to go to where I have my copy of WordPress 2.2.2, which for me is right here. Open it up. Open up the actual folder. And see, it's the same structure as here, WP Admin, WP Content. And I'm basically going to upload everything new to overwrite. And I'll tell it to overwrite everything. This is why I pulled these files ahead of time. Because these are the files that I would have made changes to. 
and I want to make sure that I don't lose things that we've already changed or customized. Okay, everything is uploaded and I've, I've overwritten everything that we had with the new version of WordPress. Now comes the fun part. Okay, we're going to go in and do the upgrade. And all it's going to be is the blognname.com. If it was in a folder, it would be there. In this case, it's on the top level domain. So it would be wp-admin slash then just type in upgrade.php. Database update required. Uh-oh. And that's really all it takes. <laughs> uh, now I will need to go back to the admin and turn the plugins on. I won't turn on sidebar widgets because the sidebar widgets are part of 2.2.2. Uh, that's all there is to it. I have one more step that I need to get take. And that's it. Basically, I'm going to take this folder I created with all the back and throw it away. That's all that you need to do to do an upgrade uh, on WordPress, an upgrade of versions. Now, had I needed it, at least I had the backup stuff. Uh, but I didn't need it, so it's very easy.